Hey YouTube, it's JP Dillon. Here's a little public service announcement here. You've heard me rag on these uh, Panasonic capacitors before, but I just want to reiterate how important it is to get rid of these stupid things. So pretty much any Panasonic piece of equipment, whether Panasonic, National, Technics, whatever, you take a look down inside of here and you see these dark blue guys that look like that. They're bad. Change them. Trust me on this. Just trust me. This is an SA-303 Technics receiver. 40 watt per channel, blah, blah, blah. The common problem with these, or the common complaint, is that the phono stage, which is down in here, those two ICs there, my phono stage stopped working. Okay, so here's the scenario. You pull all the caps out, and you find that every single one has got this funky green goo running down the center leads of the capacitor. It doesn't matter what size it is. And they're bulging on the bottom. Like, here's another one that's really crusty looking. And they're awful. They've all failed. And here's the scary thing, kids. Uh... I've already put the ICs back in here, but what happens is if they pee enough, it will eat the leads on the ICs. And I had to make little lead extensions and solder them to the nubs on the bottom of the ICs and put them back in. That happens. So don't let it get that far. Um, I've got all these other ones in the power supply to solder too. But it's like every one you pull out. It's got this fuzzy, yucky green stuff on the bottom, or it's bulging or something. Let's yank another one out here. Here's a 220 bulging on the bottom. See that black stuff on the leads? That's the corrosive effect starting to take hold. Here's another one. Hard to see there. I think the light's a little intense, but it's starting to leak. Here's another one. This one's starting to bulge on the bottom. They're just all going to go bad. Let's, let's pluck some more out here. Here's another one down in here. Did I desolder this one yet? Nope, I don't think so. Let's take a look at this one. And the flash is making it too bright. Let's see if I can turn this off here. Get some better, better lighting maybe. Anyways, they they leak, and they leak onto the board, and they cause damage. And what I find more often than not, that one's starting to bulge too. The bottom bulges out, and they start to pee. So all of these got to go. Uh, you got to replace them. Which means that a lot of these Technics units are going to be recap vampires. They're just going to eat up all your time but that's where we're at so far i've only been in this thing about 10 minutes uh the lighter purple ones like those ones down there you don't see those die the orange ones yeah they get leaky sometimes but you don't see them die uh it's always the purple ones like here's another one up here and you can see c807 right there see the crust coming out of there Come on, focus. Yeah. It's always the negative lead. It pees down the negative lead all the time. Go ahead. Open up your Technics gear. Take a look. I dare you to go through the entire machine and not find one of those stupid little blue jobbers that's not pissing everywhere. Go ahead. I'll wait. I bet you you can't find one that isn't leaking. Now, it's true that a lot of these smaller value ones... These don't die as quickly, like the 4.7 down here. You can take a look at the leads. Still pretty good. It's starting to get a little fuzzy looking, but it's not leaking as bad as some of these other ones. The ones that really love to leak are the 10 microfarad, the 22, 33, 47, the low voltage 100s, 220s. Like that 220 is pretty yucky, but they all die. So please, 
If you have a Panasonic piece of equipment and you see these blue jobbers in there, they were really popular in the mid-70s to early 80s. Change them out. Change them out or you'll be sorry. The earlier ones, the purple ones, don't leak physically, but they do leak electrically. They do go bad. Uh, and the orange ones, on occasion you'll see a leaky one, but they're pretty, pretty reliable. It's the dark blue ones that die. So change them out. And then enjoy your gear again. Anyways, this has been a public service announcement. Thanks for watching.